Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Product Zomboid. Picking up here shortly after our last episode. It is May 23rd, so I think it's actually been a few days since the last episode. But we are picking up back, um, actually we are all the way back up at Riverside. I came up here uh, to grab some more materials to bring um, back with us. Uh, primarily I wanted to get some more welding rods and we did have a bunch here, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, but since we're back here, it's been so long, uh, let's take a look around. We've got our garden here, which is, uh, <laughs> filled with rotten vegetables. And there's actually one thing I want to show you over here to do with our trap area. And then we'll be heading on the road and, uh, today's episode we're going to be, uh, going to start our new metal base over by the mall. But first, I want to show you this. So I was a bit surprised when I saw this. So we run down the road, or the path. Here's where our trapping area used to be. Look at this. Everything has uh, degraded. Fallen apart over time. So it's been... What was it here? June? It's got to have been at least, what, half a year since we've... Six months since we've been here? It's been that long. Was it, I think it was before Christmas, before we moved out to West Point. Yeah, long time. So we do have uh, uh, some wire that was dropped here from our wire traps. And then uh, the rest was just uh, wood crates and that kind of stuff. So it's just all uh, scrap wood right now. Interesting though, hey? I wonder how long it takes for that stuff to uh, degrade. I think I noticed... Um, couple of our bird traps on the uh, West Point tower had uh, degraded but um, yeah that's a lot of uh, traps that we no longer have over here in, in Riverside okay so let's head over to the car I'm going to show you what I've got and what we're bringing with us in our secondary bag right now we have a propane tank and a few bo uh, boxes of jars we'll be doing some jarring because I have quite a bit of a uh, produce over at the West Point Tower. In the trunk of the ambulance, I've got a standard gas tank, 100% condition. This will be a replacement gas tank for our black car. Also have some new tires, better brakes, better suspension. Uh, inside these, I got some more tires there. Inside here, uh, metal bars, metal pipes. What's on these ones? That's the metal bars, metal pipes. I uh, got uh, some more mufflers, so another performance muffler uh, for heavy duty, and then an average muffler for heavy duty. You know what? I thought I thought I had another muffler for standard. I thought that's what I grabbed. Well, maybe I don't have one for. For a standard car, that's fine. Okay, and then over here we've got uh, all of our skill books. So I did grab our expert. What's here? Our expert electrical, because we'll need that soon. Got our master metalworking, our master tailor, and then I think our expert uh, mechanic as well. So we should be good for books for a little while. And we got more metal pipes in there. So. Yeah, should be good. Oh, there's a performance uh, muffler for standard. Oh, I thought I had one. So we should be good for materials now. Um, there is one of these bags does have uh, all our welding rods. It's, I think it's the uh, bag with all the books in it. So, uh, yeah, actually we need some food. Let's grab that. We'll probably fill up the... Uh, car at the gas station before we leave too. Let's grab some peanut butter and maybe a couple cupcakes. I'm probably full in the backpack. Oh no, I could fit them in there. Okay, and let's grab a couple chocolate bars for the road and a bag of chips. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's head into the car. It's 1.10 p.m. 
So if we drive all the way back, uh, we should get there before nightfall or around nightfall. I am just going to rip over to the gas station though and fill up. So we're almost at half a tank. I don't think we're going to run into any zombies here. Riverside's been zombie free for quite a while. We did have a helicopter event on the 21st, so a couple days ago. I'll have to mark that in our journal once we get home. Well, we are home now, we, to our home away from home. Riverside will always be Gerald's true home. All right, but let's quickly fill up here. Flip this on. And we will cut back once I am done with our drive. All right, well, we've almost made it back, and uh, let's see here, it's 6.50. So that took about, no, well, actually not that bad, maybe six and a half hours, six, six and a half hours. A little bit better than I expected. I guess that's because we are in the ambulance. Uh, the black car is still back in West Point. Uh, but I think we're going to use the ambulance to, uh, since it's got more storage, we'll use it to haul materials to the work site. Be less trips that way. It will be louder for sure. Let's take a look at the loudness of this engine. 68, so yeah, a good 50% louder than, over 50% louder than the car. So that may cause some issues for us, but um, yeah, I think we'll use that. So it will take fewer trips. Uh, okay, but otherwise, we can drop off some materials here. So we'll add this propane tank to our supply. We'll put the box of jars in here for now. I will have to go up to West Point and bring uh, some veg down to jar later. Uh, I think we need some sugar though. Oh, we got five things of sugar. Yeah, we might be able to do a decent amount of jarring then. Okay, so that's one bag. Let's drop this off. Looks like our cabbage is already at the first growth stage. Let's drop that off. Uh, we are hungry and thirsty. Let's have the second half of this chocolate bar. We'll fill up our spray can. And our water bottle. Let's put our bowls away. Where are the bowls? Must be my backpack. Okay, let's drop off these gas cans. Empty gas cans. Okay. So. We gotta empty this stuff out. Yeah, so let's just drop this on the ground. We got a sports tire there too. Okay, let's just drop whatever we can here for car parts on the ground. Once we get the black car back up here, we'll swap out parts. And doing all that might get us closer to level seven mechanic. So it's quite a few parts to take out and replace. All right. Oh, here's the uh, uh, the uh, welding rods. All right, so we got 13 more welding rods, 25 scrap, five more propane torches, which I think are all full. Well, four of them are full. And we got some box of nails, so I think this bag can just sit outside, or that can actually just stay in the stay in the uh, ambulance. Okay, uh, we'll drop that, we'll leave the metal pipes in there. Let's take this out, so we've got some books in here that we can remove. So, master tailoring, master metalwork, master foraging, expert electricity, advanced fishing. I guess I didn't bring the uh, mechanic book, but... We, we're still good for two levels, so we don't really need that one. Let's put these books in here for now. I 
think I'll need the wire and the metal pipe. Let's fill the rest of this bag up with some more metalworking materials. So we definitely need the metal pipes. So we go to our metalworking menu here. We'll be making, well, we'll be making metal wall frames. That takes metal bars. But we're also going to be making the big pole fence. So big pole fence takes five metal pipes and two scrap metal. Metal working of seven versus a big wire fence, which takes three metal pipes, four scrap metal, and three wire. So it is a bit cheaper just to use the uh, the big pole fence. I mean, uh, well, I guess it takes more metal pipes. Hmm. Well, we can decide that once we actually get there. Uh, okay, so we still got... No, actually, that's full. Let's put this bag down. In the car. Actually, let's put it back on the seat. Uh, if I can find which one's the empty side. Okay. So that one, it's good to go. Let's just put those in the trunk, free up a seat. Uh, that is just metalworking items. That's a tire, so that can come out. Or two tires, I think. And two regular tires. So we can fill this bag up with more materials and this can go on one of the seats and the reason we do that is uh, with the bag being 30 units we can actually fit the 30 unit bag on a 20 unit seat so it's, we can actually fit more in the car if we put bags on the seats rather than just in the trunk okay so we'll take more metal bars uh, we will need metal sheets as well so let's grab those. And let's take the scrap. And we'll just do more metal pipes. One more. All right. All right, come on. Don't freeze on me now. Okay, let's drop this on this seat here. So how much room do you have left in the trunk? We're half full. What do I got on the front seat here? That's metalworking. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll just grab, grab another bag. take one of these big hiking bags and I'll throw well, actually I got all that stuff on the ground too out there well let's grab the rest of this I'm not sure if I need those small metal sheets let's focus on the pipe and the bars and big metal sheets first. All right, so this is all the stuff we got from the uh, dismantling of cars. Let's take some more uh, big metal sheets. Okay. And, oh, hold on, wrong car. Whoops. It's like, wait a minute, we got a llama room. All right, let's try that again. All right, so 64. Uh, we can fit one more big hiking bag in there. And then we'll be at the end of another day. And then whatever room you have left over, we'll just toss odds and ends into. Okay, so let's do 
maybe some more metal bars. And let's do some more sheets. Okay, we got four units left. That's more than enough here. Alright, that's full. Okay. Full, full. Full. Oh, 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 oh. we got one more seat. Okay. Uh, lots more metal pipes here. Let's take the bars. So I guess we're gonna have to do a couple trips, regardless. Okay. Good. Let's get Gerald to sleep here. Uh, I gotta put that helicopter event in the book, in the journal too. So let's quickly do that. Take our pen. Right. Wow, we've gone through uh, three pages of helicopter events. There is the one in April that I missed recording. Oh, this one was June 21st. This one started at 6 10 p.m., only lasted an hour. So, one of our shorter ones as of late. Last hour one was back in March. Then January before that. One hour. And what was that? 13 days. Yeah, 13, 13, 12, 13. We haven't uh, been given those couple extra days for quite a while. Last 16 day gap was way back in January. Prior to that, in October. We've had quite a few 15 days. Alright, cool. That is recorded. Drop that off. Uh, let's eat again here. We'll have the rest of this peanut butter. And I think I still have some stew. Yeah. So we'll take that with us tomorrow. Probably still dropping weight. No, we're holding steady. Let's eat these chips. Let's see if we can't start gaining here. Try and get back up to 80. Alright, cool. And let's sleep, so... Uh, I think we're very tired, so it won't quite be a 12 hours sleep. Should wake up before noon. Oh yeah, well before noon. Oh, and we have a foggy day. Nice. Alright, let's fill up our water. Let's grab this stew. Take that with us. And... Let's grab the rest of our propane torches. The rest of our rods. How's our katana doing? We're good. Okay. Let's go. Now, I think there are a fair number of zombies that have filled in that road just before the intersection. So, yeah, I'm going to have to jump out and clear out some zombies. I think it's, like, right after the bridge. If you remember the last time we were out there, there was a uh, gunshot meta noise. And that apparently drew a fair number of zombies to the road. 
um, after we had ended that episode. Or I noticed while I was driving back at the end of the episode. So I guess I will have to drop um, all the stuff that we picked up in our main inventory. We'll have to drop that before we can... Actually, you know what? I can put some stuff in the glove box here. Wow, it is very foggy. Driving through the drag strip. Yeah, keep in mind we're in a lot louder vehicle. So definitely on the way back we're going to have some zombies on this road. Almost guarantee it. Oh, I got a bit more room here. Let's drop off our welding rods. Right, well, one of them. So, not much to drop off. Four more. Alright, so yeah, right up here. We're just gonna stop. Drop these on the road so I don't forget them. Get out our katana. It's actually not too bad up there. Thought it was gonna be worse. Pop a pill quickly. Our second foggy day since the new fog was added. Oh yeah, there's some more here. All right, come on down. Let's keep this bridge clear. Good. Uh, I'm assuming the fog will clear up here now that we're closer to noon. It's warming up. Oh, uh, well, let's bring up the, uh... Hmm. Wish I had another bag. So I'm gonna have to keep picking up and dropping these rods. And there's another gunshot. Oh, this guy's, uh, look at this guy's got a satchel on. Oh, that's the first zombie we've seen carrying a satchel. Pretty cool. Nice. There's the bag we need. Okay, so... Yeah, it's drawing zombies down towards us. It actually works out for us. They'll come to us. Yeah, the fog's almost gone now. Yep. Alright, let's calm over. Oh, wow. It's actually drawing them uh, from over there as well. I'll we'll dispatch of these quickly. bridge here. Yeah, they are piling over. Let's keep them over towards us. Doesn't look like there's any more coming down. At least from what I can see. I think that's the worst from the north. Just gotta take a look at the... Yeah, there's a fair few over there now, I think. 
Wonder if I should have should have run there. Uh, back up katana. Oh, what does he have? Oh, how did knife and cleaver? Thought it was machete for a second. You know what? Let's grab that satchel before we lose it. Where was it? Where was it? Damn it. I may have already lost it. I right, had on that black shirt. Doesn't he down here? Fine in a minute. Where the hell is that? Is he further up here? Killed him over here. So I was pushing him over by the road, I thought. What the hell? There we go. Okay, let's grab that. Uh, we'll only be able to use it uh, if we switch out to our hand axe or pipe wrench. We'll take care of these zombies first. Still 50%. There's not too many actually. I thought there was going to be more at the bridge. Okay, I think we're good. A couple more on that side. We will get to base building today. A gunshot may have actually been good. Pull more out of the woods. That may have uh, caused us issues later on. Oh, that's a machete though, right? In the shoulder. I think they always stick out of the shoulder. Yep. Nice. We'll take it. Well, that's our backup weapon. If this katana breaks today. Go from one legendary weapon to the to another. Okay, let's hop in. Uh, actually, no. Let's switch out to our hand axe. Let's get this equipped secondary. Now, at the very least, I can just drop this. Okay, cool. Get the AC cranked. Look at that. This big gas tank. Driving from Riverside all the way down here. Not even a quarter tank. That's what you get for a big gas tank. High quality. Okay, next big group. Let's drop this satchel. We'll stick with the katana. I just want to get to the zombies 
fast enough that they don't start bunching up. So that's where the problems start. Alright, beta blocker. Let's fall back. Oh, we got quite a few back here. Alright. Oh, never mind. We didn't get most of them. There's still a lot here. bags for us to check. And we're going to level up our uh, long blade. He's getting a lot of a lot of use out of it. Oh, hit the tree there. That's going to take off some durability. Let's uh, maybe jump over to this side. Oh yeah, so that's this is all from our our car engine being so loud. Right, fall back again. I take a look at condition. It's still holding. Take another pill. Some chocolate. like seven zombies in the time it took that one zombie to stand up. <laughs> Alright, come on guys. This is going to be a very safe road by the time we're done. What is our long blade at? A thousand, two thirds of the way. What's our kills at? Eighteen five. We're gonna have a twenty K season. <laughs> a few thousand are just gonna be from the katana. Man, it's going to be nightfall here soon. We're already drowsy. Didn't think it was going to be this bad. Thought it was going to be bad, and then it looked like it was going to be good. And our car just attracted all the zombies. So, I guess it would have been smarter to just do several trips in the, uh, the box van. Ooh. Not an insta kill. Hmm. I wonder if we just, uh. Do you think it's worth it to run back, grab the box car, and leave the ambulance here? So if we move it forward again, it's just gonna be more zombies. Transfer everything over to the box car, the box van. Or do we try to just push forward? Do we have any coffee still? No, we don't. Well, I could run back. Let's 
It's the only other option is to sleep out here in a car. Cigarette. We're gonna have to fill up one more cigarettes too. We're almost out. All right, how how close are we? Can we drive the rest of the way up there? Hmm. It's not quite going as planned. Looks like it's still a ways and there's still quite a few zombies up here. Oh, and that's a big lag. Even after all the zombies we killed in the other episode. Still have all these to deal with. Oh, let's not equip that secondary. <laughs> You're not going to do much with that. I'm trying to think what other options are. We could drive through and try to draw them down the road, but I can't really loop around. Because I think the uh, other road that would loop up by the gas station is still probably congested. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to run back. Grab the other vehicle. Do that now. Get home at dusk. Come back in the morning. And just transfer stuff over from uh, the ambulance. I think it's just too loud. I probably should have guessed it was going to be a problem. Instead of driving all the way back uh, and drawing more Zeds out, I think I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, so I will edit here and we'll cut back in the morning with another quieter car. Okay, we're back. Uh, not the next morning, but the following morning. I did actually spend a full day just reading our master metalworking book, so we're ready to go. Let's uh, continue pushing up here. Let's actually just try and make it to the intersection. Uh, I did fill up the back of this with the rest of our uh, metalworking implements. Yeah, it was actually quite a ways to the intersection from where we stopped. Let's try and get there right now or else we're never going to get there. At the very least, we can get something started today. Okay. And so the suggestion was to build it over top of the intersection, so that's what we're going to attempt to do. Uh, let's just drop our meals here. Try and get underneath this uh, carry capacity. Let's drop this machete. I grabbed a, a new katana. I know I said we weren't going to use katanas until we got to the mall, but we've kind of needed to. I suppose we could do it without, but it might take us several weeks. Longer than it is already taking us. Okay, so definitely attracted some zombies, but I don't think it's as many as we would have attracted had we taken the ambulance all the way here. We'll clear out what we can see. We'll do a few shouts at the intersection. How many more are down here? Still 
welfare number. All right, let's do the shouts at the intersection. So this is where we're gonna do the building, so. All right, let's do one. Let's take a look at our skill again here. Long blade, 1141. So another 350 to go, we got some rain. Just keep shouting here. Maybe I'll just fast forward through this part. Because uh, we are getting kind of late in the episode. Might be good. I don't see any more coming. Uh, so, hopefully, I've got a uh, propane torch on me. I'll also have to run back to the ambulance. No, I do. Okay. We can at least start something here. Alright, let's grab. Maybe we'll do the uh, perimeter fence first. So we'll start off with, I guess, metal pipe. And some scrap. Oh, and here come a few more. Just when you think it's safe. They wandered out of nowhere. Oh, one more. Okay. Good? Nope. Still more. God damn. Take a quick beta blocker. I've been recording for so long that I'm starting to get uh, some, some pretty big lag spikes. Not right now, but... I mean, there is some lag right now, but it's starting to get the, the few second hiccups. Find that'll happen when, uh, when I've been playing for more than an hour. Okay. Oh, man, every time I say we're good to go, I hear another zombie. Okay, let me put down <laughs> some some fence here. All right, so let's pick up some of that. Let's pick up some more pipe. All right, that's enough for one section. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot of pipe to do this. Let's do. Let's start with two. Okay. So. Uh, we'll want to make it somewhat compact. So if we if we do this on the second floor, we'll keep the uh, intersection open to drive through. And then I think we just want fence. Yeah, here's one of those big lag spikes. Fence right along the border. So I guess across here. Maybe just across there. And then across here. How much does it take to do the um, big double gate? Pull gate. We need hinges. But that should be two, three tiles across. Alright, what do we need here? Our welding rods, right? Which I don't have. So I'm gonna have to go run down. God damn it. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put this stuff down. For the time being. I thought we were ready to go. 
Not quite. We're going to have another fast forward section here. Have a smoke, have some food. Kill a zombie. Kill a couple zombies. They're just all slowly wandering up from the or up towards the west. Okay. Half of that. Okay, drop it. And let's head down. Oh man, we're already drowsy. I didn't bring any coffee either this time. Okay, let's fast forward from here. Got the satchel. Oh my god. Okay, let's drop this. Let's get our katana back out. I have another beta blocker. We have our gardening spray can filled with water. Our other bottle is empty. Let's kill this group. have all lined up for us, and I think we just crossed over to Tired. Wow. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. For an episode. We're gonna get the cornerstone down. The corner metal down. For our new base. All right, so I think the um, the big gates. What do you think? There are three or four tiles. I think that, I think it's more than two. So I'm wondering how much space we should leave on the road for some gates. All right, let's take some welding rods. Let's grab our pipe. Kind of risky to sleep in this car tonight. Might be asking for a scratch. Okay, let's grab some scrap. Okay. So for sure we know we want a fence on this side. So, oh, hold on. Let's grab a... Uh, Blow torch. Metal working fence, pole fence, big pole fence. Alright, so let's do it here. Let's see how much XP we get for this stuff. So we're at 139. 239, so 100 each. So if we do 75, that'll get us to uh, level 9. And I'm going to say there's 75 things worth here to do. Alright, let's grab more pipe. I'm not sure if everything's going to be worth 100. Could just be the fences. There we got nine, ten. Let's go for the full fifteen. I think we're still fine. Okay, let's grab some more scrap. So we need six for three more panels. And what are we missing here? Welding rods. 
I wonder if we're gonna have enough welding rods. Let's take them all. That's why we want to make this as small as possible. I think we want to just do the intersection footprint. Okay, so going across would be right there. So that's good on that side. We gotta build out a couple more this way. Just double check. Oh, actually, still a couple. Okay. All right. Um, I don't think we have any more poles in the van here. We've got the middle bars. Uh, so I'm going to need to make... We can't make uh, metal stairs, so I'm going to have to do wood stairs. Which means... Let's get this out. Chop some trees. Let's put this back in here for now. Yeah, let's put that in there too. Okay, let's go chop a few trees. Might as well just do it back here. Get enough for a staircase. Oh, and we are queasy. Yes, from being around uh, all the corpses. Alright, so that's three. That's nine. Uh, let's do a couple more here. Should be enough. Yeah, we haven't eaten anything bad. Pretty sure it's just because of the flies. Hey, okay, saw this up. Okay, let's take these. Just over here. Saw these up. So we'll, we'll do the staircase here. That'll allow us to start building metal floors up top. And then that'll be a good for an episode, I think. It's 15, right, for uh, stairs, is that right? Yeah, okay, so we need three more. Do this last one. Yeah, we don't have a cold, it's actually queasy. It's it's definitely from the corpses. Okay, so. Stairs. Let's build those right there. Okay, cool. What do we need for flooring? Oh, that, that might be what we need small metal sheets for. Let's see. Uh, metal roof. Yeah, small metal sheets. I think I could grab some. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's grab those. What else was it? Another leg. Uh, just welding rods, okay. So it does take scrap metal too, though. Let's grab that. Grab as much of that as we can. Okay. So we need some hinges for the doors. For the, um, the big doors. Uh, this is as far out as we want to go. So we'll build out this way. Let's see how much we're getting for this stuff. So 659, 679. Okay, so 20 per floor. I guess we want to make it the whole intersection. That's quite a bit of room. We really just need it big enough to uh, have some storage and somewhere to sleep. Let's start off with this. What's that? Four. Let's do four by four by five. Not sure why he's hammering. How are we doing for rods? Still got this one to go through. Okay, so once we get rid of the stairs, that'll be four by four. Let's go one more. Okay, cool. We'll leave that up here. Uh, we'll leave our rods up here. And we'll need more small metal sheets to finish the floor, but we gotta start at least. So yeah, we'll start with that big. Uh, if we do end up with more, if it does look like we have more resources, um, we'll do the full, but we'll start with this. We have got Almost our first thousand into Metalworking 9. We are now at an hour for this recording. So, I think we've done well. Um, I am going to have to risk it in Sleeper, though. Oh, God, there's a lot of zombies right there. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I rest on the ground here and I run back home. Okay, well, I will figure that out. Uh, that will do it for this episode though guys um, thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed uh, I didn't get quite as much built as I was hoping for this episode but we will uh, pick up and do more in the next episode and then we will have hopefully after an episode or two a base of operations nice and close to the mall because the mall is not that much further down this road so we'll pick up next time continue on with our base and uh, leave me some more comments down below. I like the suggestion. Keep them coming. <laughs> Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.